Hey guys, good afternoon. It's been a long week. <laughs> I'm not on here to boohoo like a baby or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the outpouring of love and just support and everything all the way around. I really, really appreciate it. And that's all I really have to say about that. It's been several days since I actually vlogged. I've had time to kind of just, you know, think back about happy thoughts and not feel so sad and depressed and stuff. And I've had to move on, you know. Um, it just, it stinks when you have to move on without things and people and animals that you love but you know at the end of the day I all I can do is hope and pray is Bella's in a better place she's not suffering and she gets to be with her brother and they're running and jumping around and happy you know that's all I can do so I really appreciate all of the checking on me I have so many messages I'm actually a little overwhelmed with how many messages I have on Instagram and comments and stuff and I just really really appreciate it you know it's I mean course I have my family and stuff but I just feel like when people who I don't even know some I do some I don't reach out to you and check on you daily it just really you know it makes your heart warm so anyway thank you so what I've been up to today has been a crazy day I had clinic yesterday which was rough because I um, was talking my preceptor knew exactly what was going on from last week so anyway yesterday was a little rough and then today I had I just pretty much sulked the weekend like I just sulked because I was feeling sorry for myself and you know stuff like that and, and I just felt like it was one more thing that is like on top of everything that's happening again like I don't know where you, where you guys are but here people are starting to clear shelves again and things are starting to get a little more strict and I'm just like oh, great <laughs> great I feel like we're right back where we started I know California is a lot worse off some other places in the US are a lot worse off and Texas is is holding strong but we are starting to just get a little crazy again and so it just it just feels like oh, right around the holiday season you know Anyway, my hair's clean if you're wondering. I blew it dry. Not that this has anything to do with how I'm feeling right now, but it's a good representation. I blew it dry. I've been trying to wash it not as frequently. You can still see it has a little bit of red undertones in it, but this is just like blowing it out. I, I wanna straighten it. I've just been wearing it straight lately because I feel like it lasts a little bit longer. I don't know, I could just be making that up but I feel like it lasts a little bit longer than when it's curly because when it's curly it shows I don't know they both show grease so I don't really even know what I'm talking about today I had my final practicum this morning and that was a nightmare because I kept waiting they're supposed my um, faculty is supposed to send me the patient information like 15 to 30 minutes before my actual presentation and waiting waiting it was supposed to be at 10 a.m it was like a 20 minute presentation and then i had an hour to write the soap note <laughs> and so i'm waiting and i had everly's pt appointment at noon waiting waiting nothing i email her i text her i'm like what the heck i'm waiting maddie's my patient that i have to demonstrate my assessment on and stuff and i just was like frazzled i was frazzled from the whole last week and i just felt a little frazzled in general and then the more I was waiting, the more frazzled I was like, okay, I was getting nervous that I wasn't gonna make it in time because I had to turn in the soap note within an hour. And I was like, okay, if I don't finish my final before 11 a.m., I'm not gonna have a full hour because I have to do Everly's PT appointment. So I'm waiting, waiting. She finally texts me and is like, oh, sorry, I was with IT. I'm having trouble logging in. I'm like, well, you know that would have been nice to message me i could have rescheduled i'm over here panicking and she's like no don't worry i'll give you time so it probably ended up working out in my favor to be honest because i i was frazzled enough i forgot to 
look at my patient's blood pressure. <laughs> she was there for conjunctivitis, bacterial conjunctivitis, which is easy enough. I nailed everything else about my assessment, about my soap note. I did it all um, except for the fact that her blood pressure was 154 over 78. Again, this is like a fictitious character. I'm not talking about an actual patient. It's a, a fictitious character that I use for educational purposes. So. It was like 154, not over 78, 154 over like 94 or something like that. And I addressed it at the very end and I forgot to assess and ask the patient about like if she were, ner there's a protocol that we have to follow if she were nervous. So like white coat syndrome, although your blood pressure wouldn't be, I would hope not that high if you had a white coat syndrome type of thing and my patient was only 25. Again, fictitious, but it happens. Young patients get high blood pressure all the time. So yeah, I asked about it in the wrong order. So I'm sure I got some points off for that. And I, at the, at the end of it, I was just like, she was like, are you, did you know, are you, did you feel like you met everything? And I was like, oh, cause I got to go back and look. I said, I asked about the blood pressure at the wrong time. And she's like, well, at least you asked, like you recovered. And I'm just like, okay. I mean, it's, that's true. I did. I didn't let her leave without asking about it, but still I just, I fumbled. I fumbled because I was working myself up and then something I was watching Instagram or something afterwards. And somebody was talking about, Oh, it was Nicole Guerrero about like episodic anxiety saying, you know, that you work yourself up prior to one little thing and you give yourself anxiety. And that's totally what I did. I totally was like freaking myself out because I was more worried about getting it done before Everly's PT appointment. And so anyway, this morning I just, you know, I feel like everything's kind of rolled over into once into one thing, but after another, but you know, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get back into my groove. Um, I only needed an 80 to like pass the final and I'm still gonna get an A in the class. So overall, but to me at this point, an A, and if you're not in school, you're not in something like this, I guess it doesn't matter. For me, I would rather know the information and not make such a good grade than make a good grade just because, you know, like if I can't go out there and assess and diagnose and treat a patient, an A in this class doesn't mean anything in the real world. You know what I'm saying? So just got to get it together. So, I mean, I, I feel like I did well. I just was, like I said, frazzled because I, I got my things out of order and I was a, just a little bit like, mm, so that's how my morning went but I did get my soap note turned in right in time <laughs> literally I hit submit as Everly's physical therapist was knocking on the door we did her PT finished up the girls school now I'm going to tackle the bedroom now I'm like done with school I have six three I have one four, five, six days left of clinic like when I how I actually go to clinic but as far as work I'm done done i don't have anything else to do i just have to finish up my six days of clinical so that's 48 i actually only need 44 hours of clinical so i have to see 44 more patients 44 hours more of clinic and i'm done with the class until <laughs> halfway through january when i start a new class so that will be a sigh of relief but the clinicals don't bother me at all I, i'm feeling very comfortable i'm to the point now where i go in I do my own pap smears. I see my own OB patients. I say my own, but they're my preceptors, but I'm still seeing them and charting on them and everything. So I'm feeling very confident in that aspect. This bacterial conjunctivitis tripped me up a little bit with the high blood pressure. But you know what? Next semester, I'll probably be way better at that because other than preeclamptic patients and I had one chronic hypertensive patient, I don't see patients like that. So, you know, I think next semester I'll be fine. So now I need to like focus, recenter myself back on getting my life at home picked up. And you know, I just couldn't really bring myself to like clean up Bella's stuff over the last few days and like, like get rid of, oh, I haven't cried in a few days. I feel like I'm gonna cry again. Like I haven't been able to 
like pick up her bed and you know stuff like that so I think we're gonna do that today I don't know why I'm leaving my hair like this because it's just big and fluffy and <laughs> needs to be straightened so my room um yeah needs to be picked up <laughs> <laughs> my bed I mean you guys know I'm not like an avid bed maker but it's all over the place that's clean laundry on the floor <sighs> it's not awful but it definitely needs to be cleaned up so here we are we're going to do a quick speed straighten up with me let's go Okay, I'm gathering trash in that, well, recycling in the FabFitFun box. I need to open that and share it with you guys. It looks a lot better in here. It needs a quick vacuum. But other than that, we're doing good. Okay, there's a lot going on in the background, but I thought I would share with you quick my winter FabFitFun box. Um, they did send this to me. They sent me the fall one as well, which I loved. Um, I do have a coupon code with FabFitFun for $10 off your first box. If you've never had them, they're a great deal. They're only $49. You get them quarterly. Um, and over time, you get to, depending on which box you get, you get to pick a variety of things. So, yeah, you get a whole bunch of deluxe items in there, full-size items, things that are worth well over $200 in your box. So these are some of the options for the winter box. And then there's a whole bunch of coupon codes. It breaks down what the product is, how much it's worth, all that good stuff. They send you coupon stuff. I have, there's one for HelloFresh, for Nourish, Vitamins, HBO subscription, Wine. And then they even sent a $15 gift card for the next box, which is amazing. Amazing deal. The whole box for $35, you, you really can't beat that. So this is some of the stuff that I picked out. We love little cutting boards like this. First off, they're really great to just, they don't take up a lot of space and they're very good at cutting stuff. This one's kind of cool because it has like shrimp, veggies, chicken, beef, so you can, you know which one you're cutting on which one. Um, I like the plastic, be or the, these aren't, yeah, like the silicone kind, not silicone, the plastic kind, because 
when you cut into them, you can toss them in the dishwasher and when they heat up, you can get everything out of it versus like a wooden cutting board. You don't want to cut meat and stuff like that on it. So we have a bunch of these. I'm happy to add those to the collection. And then this one was a small in size, but mighty box for sure. So they sent a Tula skincare. This is the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I've always wanted to try Tula products, so I'm excited to try this one. It's a stick brightener. Very excited about that. This one, two things, my favorite out of the whole box. The Algenis, Algenis, I'm not exactly sure how you say it. Complete Eye Renewal Balm. This in and of itself is so expensive, it pretty much pays for the box. Again, in and of itself. I've used this in the past and I really enjoyed it as a very thick, nourishing eye cream. I like wearing it at night, so I'm excited for that. They sent a Phase Zero Making Moves blusher. This really looks like NARS Orgasm Blush. You can see that color, very similar. It has that gold fleck and everything to it. So super pretty, I'll definitely use that. Leopard is in for sure and the scrunchies are in. I'll probably give these to the girls. They'll be really excited to have those. So this one is from the Noir brand. Noir? I'm not exactly sure how you say it. And then a lip scrub gentle, uh, gently exfoliates, smooth and softens from the brand Wish. And this is in vanilla bean. It smells like as soon as I open the package, the whole thing waft of vanilla. So this is really good. I'll have to report back on how I like that. A little sample treat of the Kind Thins. These are only 90 calories. What a cute little treat, especially for your kids if you don't want them to have like a whole protein bar. That's really cute. This one is dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. So that, and then my most favorite from the whole package are these Kate Spade earrings. Look at that shine on those. It's so shiny. These retail alone for $68 in the US. $68, so again, this pays for the box and then some. There's some sparkle studs in gold, petted like a, a post earring, and then some pearls, again, on a post earring. So I'm really excited to wear those. They come with a little pouch. And then the last thing I have on my head already, let me show you. And yes, these are new glasses, they're Michael Kors. You guys saw them when I tried them on when I was getting them the other day. But my hair's not down and I think it would look a lot cuter with my hair down. But this headband is from the brand Lily Sendui, I'm thinking the name, but it's a red velvet headband. How cute is this for the holidays? Perfect. In fact, this actually matches what we're doing for Christmas pictures this year. The velvet and everything. And so I don't know if I am brave enough to wear this in a Christmas picture, but <laughs> depending on how it looks in my hair, I may be. So yeah, super cute. I'm very excited to have this. I have not jumped on the headband. I can't get this on. Headband bandwagon just yet. Um, and now I feel like I'm going to have to jump on it. I really, really like the way that this looks. And like I said, I think it will look even cuter whenever I have my hair down and actually fix, which is not right now. So if you're interested in FabFitFun, thank you guys for sending it to me. I really, really appreciate it. Love the boxes. Can't speak highly enough about them. Love the stuff that they provide. I haven't had a box that I haven't loved the stuff in it yet. So definitely think it's worth the money. I will leave the link for you guys to sign up and the coupon code for you, for you to get $10 off your first box. Okay, don't mind me. I've been editing the, um, Emmy's birthday vlog and Bella's vlog and I'm just on and off crying so don't mind my face um but I came to link some stuff from Sephora for you guys on my makeup that I was wearing at Emmy's party and um I noticed Rakuten which I told you guys in a few vlogs ago prior to Bella I don't even know if it was maybe the first vlog where Bella had surgery I don't even remember but Right now, for the holidays, they're having, when you sign up for a brand new account, you spend $40, they're giving you a $40 welcome bonus. So it's a great time to do that kind of stuff, especially like with Sephora right now. I don't know if they're still having their 10%, 15 and 20, 20, yeah, 20% off sale for Rouge. I know I just got an email saying that they still have the 10% off and they're 8% cash back on Rakuten right now. On top of the fact that, so like if you came, for instance, I'm 
linking i thought this was the gingerbread palette um i guess they don't have it anymore but i'm linking a palette for you guys so if you were to buy this 49 dollars palette essentially it would only cost you nine dollars and even less than that because you would get back eight percent so what is that like right under four dollars at a 49 dollar palette like three dollars and ninety cents or something like that so it would end up you'd get back forty dollars in a welcome bonus from rakuten just by signing up with the link down below and then you would get back eight percent on your overall purchase so that's an amazing deal right now um sephora usually runs four percent so eight percent is really great i know everyone's doing a whole lot of online shopping i've actually linked rakuten and this is not sponsored in any way i am an affiliate of theirs but i don't they don't sponsor my videos or anything i just use it i actually hooked it to my extension or my browser extension so now when i just typed in sephora it automatically populated in the right hand corner that rakuten was eight percent cash back for sephora i click that little button and it sends me back to the sephora website through rakuten rakuten and i just order and it puts cash back into my account you get paid quarterly you can do paypal they can mail you a check it's awesome so definitely worth signing up and doing some of your online shopping through rakuten not only to get the cash back but to get that 40 dollar sign on bonus amazing amazing deal i've already seen so many of you guys sign up but remember to get the bonus you do have to spend the forty dollars on an order and then they deposit the forty dollars into your account so it's a great way to get a nice little christmas present for yourself or someone you love and yeah so i'm gonna go back to linking and editing um i just thought i would pop on and share with you guys that i'll just show you real quick i actually came to ulta's website to link it for you guys and the essence lash princess false lash effect mascara this is the one that i've been using i use new lash with it but this mascara is great for $4.99 you really cannot beat it and then up here this is the corner thing that i'm saying it automatically pops up when i typed in ulta rakuten it says activate 10 percent cash back so if i click it it just takes me back to the page and that's it you just keep shopping and it automatically activates your 10 percent cash back and it'll automatically deposit it into your account pretty cool it's already been an emotional night and i came up here after tucking in all the girls and this note was on the gates from maddie so tough i have another load of laundry i'm going to try and bust out it's not even 10 p.m yet and then I meant to have the girls take those. It's like their, I don't even know, socks and underwear and a pajama and then some towels. But I'll have to put it up for tomorrow. I was going to straighten my hair today and clearly we didn't make it there. So it's just going to have to stay fluffy blown out. And I'm just going to throw it up in a ponytail for tomorrow. I have clinicals tomorrow anyway. <sighs> I thought I was good today. <laughs> and then I edited Bella's little vlog and I just... If you haven't watched it, I suggest you don't watch it unless you want a ball. I feel like if I were watching somebody else be as hysterical as I was in that vlog and then the dedication at the end, I would ball even if I didn't even, even if I didn't know the family or the animal personally or anything, I sobbed. And I, I really thought I was like, I still didn't have the heart to like put up her kennel or her beds or anything like that I've just been leaving everything out her dog food we didn't go to ACS today I just couldn't bring myself to do it so maybe this weekend but yeah that vlog was really hard to edit and then seeing the note up on top of the stairs I'm just like oh my gosh you guys I've never had to deal with the girls losing a pet that they really really remember like even emmy with dulce and dulce was here from Bo and bella they were here from when we first got emmy so we've had we had the dogs longer than we've had the kids you know and she didn't even really get affected by dulce as much as she did bella i don't know if it's because they remember her more as they've gotten older i don't really know but it's been rough so anyway i I'm going to fold this laundry and watch some vlogs or something to unwind for the night i have to be up early like i said for clinical but i only have six is that what i said earlier six 
So it's like technically five and a half days. She scared me. You okay, mama? You okay? I saw your note. You need a hug. It's okay. I know I miss her too, okay? Remember we talked about it, right? It's okay. Okay. Go party. I love you. Um. So. What was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I only have like five and a half days left of clinic that I need. Or I think I was talking about the amount of hours. I don't know. But I'm done with schoolwork. I don't have any assignments or anything due for the rest of the semester, which feels kind of strange for me to be doing my patients and charting on them and stuff and not having an assignment. And believe it or not, I made a 95 on my final. I couldn't believe it. I thought she just graded my soap note that I turned in Sunday night, um, but I got 100 on that, but when I saw 95, I really, hopefully she's okay. I really thought it was my soap note from then, but it was today's final, I made a 95. The only thing she marked me off on was uh, something about like I didn't put that the patient didn't serve in the military and that they weren't taking any vitamins. I just put no, I wasn't specific. I just put no medications at this time or something like that. And, so yeah i could not believe it. it just was like a little boost of confidence like i said i was pretty certain that i was going to make an a in the class anyway but um it just it felt you know that much better so anyway i'm so sorry for continuing to be like emotional over and over it's probably just going to take me a little while and then i'll just be back to my normal self you know it's one of those things like i know life goes on and your heart eventually starts to heal a little bit and you're able to kind of get through it. I know that I just need to get to that point. So I'm going to fold these clothes, put everything away and then head to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog back. I know it was kind of all over the place and I'm really sorry about that, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. This, when you guys are watching this, I will have finished clinic for the week so vlogs should be kind of back to normal for the remainder of the week and my birthday is this weekend you guys sunday the 22nd i cannot believe i'm going to be 34 and we're not doing anything but we're decorating for christmas which i'm really excited about because i think we just need a little bit of joy in our lives you know so i'm gonna go before i start crying again <laughs> thanks for watching hope you enjoyed we'll see you tomorrow